So for this problem, we have a geometry application problem. So this reads, a rectangle has an area of 105 yards. The length of the rectangle is 8 yards more than the width. It wants us to find the perimeter. So there's a couple things going on here. Now with this problem, they do give us the rectangle and they have the width labeled as W and they have the length labeled as W plus 8. And that comes from the fact that it says that the length of the rectangle is 8 yards more than the width. So whatever the width is, we want 8 more. That's where the W plus 8 comes from. Now we got to be careful about this because the first line reads that the rectangle has an area of 105 yards. So they're initially talking about the area of this rectangle, but the question asks us to find the perimeter. Okay, so we need to make sure that we're careful about that. Since they started with the area, that's the formula that we're going to work first. The formula for area of a rectangle is equal to area is equal to length times width. So let's go ahead and plug in what we know. It tells us that the area is 105 yards, so I'm going to plug in 105 for A. That's going to equal to the length times the width. Well, the length is W plus 8, and the width is just width, right? So we're just plugging this W plus 8 into length, this W in for the width. Now this is the formula that we need to solve. What we're going to do here is we're going to figure out what the width and the length are actually equal to, and then we're going to use that to find the perimeter of this rectangle. In order to solve this equation, so we have to go ahead and multiply the length and the width together. So W plus 8 times W, we're going to distribute the W. So that means W times W is W squared. W times the 8 gives us 8W the 105 is just going to drop down. Now because I see this W squared, that means we're working with a quadratic equation. And when you're working with a quadratic equation, you want to move everything over to one side of the equation and set it equal to zero. So because of that, I'm going to subtract the 105 to the other side so that I now have zero is equal to W squared plus 8W minus 105. Now, after this point here, what I'm going to do in order to solve this quadratic equation is I want to factor this thing. All right, so I'm going to see if I can factor this into my two parentheses here. Looking at my first term, that's w squared. The only way to get w squared is w times w. Then we look at our last term, 105, and we think what multiplies to get 105 but adds or subtracts to get 8. Those magic numbers are 7 and 15. 7 times 15 is 105, 15 minus 7 is equal to 8. Focusing on our signs, whatever sign the middle term has, that has to go with the bigger number. The middle term is positive, so the plus has to go with 15. And since this 108 is negative, the only way to get a negative when you multiply is if they have different signs. So, so since the 15 is positive, that means the 7 has to be negative. At this point here, we use the zero factor property that tells us that we can split each one of our factors up, set them each equal to zero, and solve. So we're going to take w minus 7, set it equal to zero, w plus 15, set it equal to zero. And we're going to solve these one-step equations. So for the first one, all we have to do is add 7 to both sides, giving us that w is equal to 7. For the other one, we would subtract 15 on both sides to give us that w is equal to negative 15. Now here is where you want to be a little bit careful. We got two answers for the width. We got 7 and negative 15. Now this is a real world application problem, so you need to think about what those answers represent. Uh, there is no way to get negative 15 yards. Negative 15 yards does not make sense. So when you get a negative answer for this kind of problem, automatically mark it out. You can't use that. This means that the width is equal to 7. So we know that the width is equal to 7. We can use that to then find the length. The length is w plus 8. We now know what w is. We solved and we got that w is 7. Well, length is w plus 8. So if we do 7 plus 8, we get 15. So that means the width is 7 yards. The length is 15 yards. Okay. 
So going back to our question, it wants us to find the perimeter of the rectangle, which means we want to add up all sides. There is a formula for perimeter of a rectangle. Its perimeter is equal to twice the length plus twice the width. But we also know that perimeter is just the distance along all the sides. So each width is 7 and each uh, length is 15. You can just do 15 plus 7 plus 15 plus 7 or you can plug it into the perimeter problem, it doesn't matter. Regardless, whichever way that you do it, adding up all sides or plugging it into the formula, you get the perimeter is equal to 44 yards for this problem. Otherwise, that's it for this problem.